Okay, so what's up my ninjas? I'm Strident and we are here with the uh, G.I. Joe 50th Anniversary Social Clash 2-pack. So it's Lady J and uh, the Baroness. Um, I ordered this one from Toys R Us. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to order anything from Toys R Us again. The, when, it when, it, when I received the package, the package was wide open at the top of the mailer. Um, I was like, why the fuck is my, my fucking package open, you know what I mean? And the, the uh, packing slip was kind of coming out of it, and, you know, fuck them, I don't like that shit. Um, the price was, was manageable, I paid like, I think altogether it came out to like $22 or $23, something like that. But, uh, anyway, it's not a horrible, you know, pack. It's, it's actually, I'm glad, my Lady J turned out a lot better than I expected. It's the Baroness that I, I've got complaints about. Because, you know, it, this shit is, uh, uh, <laughs> how do I put this? We're too old for this shit, you know? Hasbro's been making Baroness figures since when? And you still can't get paint applications right, you know? Like, it's, it's almost embarrassing when you see the little goofiness that's on here. So... I'm gonna get the bad out of the way. The bad out of the way first will be. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to do this differently because it's a it's a quick review, and you guys know a, a lot about these characters already, so I don't really have to give you a whole bunch of backstory except for the fact that Lady J and Flint are two of my three favorite characters of the Joe team. Beachhead, Lady J, and Flint are my favorite Joes, hands down. Um, Sergeant Slaughter somewhere in there, but I kind of gave up hope on Sergeant Slaughter because the 25th or the modern Sergeant Slaughter figure is like way too expensive. So this is the concept case version of Lady J that we saw in, uh, what is it, Sev several Joe Cons, Comic Cons, whatever, and uh, Toy Fairs, whatever you want to call it. and. I have wanted this since the first time I saw it, finally got it. I'm almost tempted to turn her into, use this body for a uh, safeguard because it kind of matches the aesthetic of the, uh, you know, Fenris company, the Joe Troopers and whatnot, but I'm not going to. I'm going to let it stay a Lady J. I got lucky with her face because some of them have really really wow crappy uh faces and her face is not so bad i'm trying to get some more light on her so that i can show you her face and hopefully that you know it's the fact that all my lighting is above so i apologize for that maybe this will help does that help yeah yeah, she has kind of a goofy eye on this side. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but... So, on her neck, the paint wasn't properly applied, and there's this big green, like, splotch right in the small of her collarbone. It's just weird, sloppy shit like that that gets on my nerves. I'm like, really? And when you look at it, you're just like, that just, you could have just went over it one more time. So the next thing is, on her head sculpt, the paint on her hair is kind of sloppy. They didn't paint as close to the edges of the bottom portion of her hair as they could. Instead, it just seems like it cuts off, and then the flesh tone kind of bleeds through, and it doesn't look right. It kind of looks uh, cheesy. And, you know, I have other examples, but... Even my other ones, they did it better. I'm like, huh? Case in point, here's another one. It doesn't look sloppy because they painted right to the edge. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Here, not so much. They painted on the exterior, but the lower half... It, damn, I'm sorry. You can't even see that because my thumb's in the way. The exterior is all jacked up. You know? It's just strange, man. It's laziness. Um, let me see if any of my others are good, better examples. Yeah, here, we'll use the uh, version 8. Look at that. This is the new one. 
this is version 8. How did they fuck that up? It's not like you're not going to see the hair, you know what I mean? But they fucked that up. Um, the second complaint I have, and I have to go, I'm, I'm getting the complaints out the way first so I can focus on what I like about it. So, with her and the Baroness, they gave them a lot of the same gear that you've seen packaged with them in past releases. It's like so much so that they have gear that's not even like they have nowhere to put the shit. You know what I mean? They have uh, uh, pegs and things like like on the Baroness. Uh, she has the same weaponry from the Rise of Cobra release. You know, the, the attack on the pit. But then she doesn't have the places to put all that stuff, you know? And it kind of just seems lazy because it's like, what was the fucking point of putting all that shit in there if you didn't even think about how they're going to use all this stuff? Like, how does this all work with the particular figure that you've boxed in here with them, you know? Like, it doesn't make sense. And I know, you know, you can almost seemingly never have enough uh, weapons for your Joes and stuff, but it's like, some of this stuff just doesn't fucking count in my opinion. So, all right, let's look at this. So, Lady J. All her gear was seen in the uh, Retaliation release. Everything, all of this came with the Retaliation Lady J. What I wanted, I still want when I think of Lady J, I think of this. So, I want a spear, and I want her backpack of spears. You can even update it if you want. I put it around her waist because the belts help hold it in place, and plus it would harken back to what's going on here, which is pretty cool. So, my Lady J is more old school already, just with that one thing. And then I set it off by putting... I gave her uh, my extra spear. This spear actually came with one of my uh, Lord of the Rings figures, but I think it is from an older a version of Lady J of some sort. So now, Lady J is all homaged up. Then <laughs> the Baroness. All this shit came with this version of the Baroness. And you see she's got the pegs, right? For those two guns right there, those two pulse pistols. Why the fuck would you put that in there? Then they gave her the briefcase that uh, you hold the nanomite warheads on. And it's like, wait, really? Then you gave her guns she can't really hold. I mean, you have to do the whole hot water, cold water treatment. Knives and shit, I guess maybe those are for Lady J. And then this contraption that hooks on to the uh, gunship. But there's no gunship in the 50th anniversary version. So why the fuck would you put this in there? It's literally Hasbro just not giving a fuck. No fucks were given when they put this shit together, you know? Lazy paint applications, everything. And then, you know, not to mention... So I pointed out the ones that are on uh, Lady J. Look at the Baroness. Like, are you fucking serious? Look at that weird Queen Amidala, like, lipstick spot. Are you fucking kidding me? Really, in this day and age? Where you have Marvel Universe figures that look better than Marvel Legends figures in some cases, and you have freaking Pursuit of Cobra figures that just put, like, you know, bigger figures to shame, and you're gonna tell me that was the best you guys could do when it came to, you know, the 50th anniversary, it's a lot of laziness, you know, and it pisses me off because this is how they decided to go out, you know, they went out with a meh and not so much of a bang, and I wanted 50th anniversary to be a big deal because it is, it's 50 years of G.I. Joe, 30 of which I've been around for, you know, but it's just shitty, I mean, like, here's a Marvel... Technically, it's a Marvel Universe figure. It's a Avengers figure. I'm going to use her as an example. It's the uh, Black Widow figure from that line. Same company, 
probably some of the same sculptors same similar materials I wouldn't say it's exactly the same she does feel a little bit different I won't say cheaper she feels kinda uh, I don't know the construction is a little different too but look at the face sculpt on this chick and, and the paint on her big old lips big old juicy lips and then look at the Baroness's fucking horrible paint job I mean look at her that's terrible I'm sorry there's nothing you can say that's going to convince me otherwise now the body is cool because it's the best body that they've they've used on the Baroness and they've used it a number of times even the Rise of Cobra body it's the same body just tweaked you know what I'm saying but this shit here is just not forgivable I mean look at the Black Widow and then look at fucking Baroness that's awful Baroness is supposed to be sexy and the kind of you know naughty librarian kind of way you know the sexy librarian kind of style you know you you she's wearing glasses she's not showing a whole bunch of cleavage and shit and it's supposed to make her look you know good we're supposed to be like yeah she looks good and you do that she looks like boy george or something like what the fuck and for you youngins go look up boy george you got a treat on your way homie um it's just not cool it really isn't um as for Lady J, overall I'm happy with her. As you can see, she's kind of a throwback to her original design, and I dig that. Um, I, I like that they did the recipe, they used the recipe that I used for, um, for Safeguard. And uh, I think I got the idea from seeing this in the concept case. But still, they used that recipe, which is nice someone's paying attention pretty much she's got legs from the uh, steel brigade um, or any number of figures that have used those legs but I think they first showed up with the steel brigade and uh, it looks good it makes her look more modern she doesn't have boobs hanging out no cleavage or anything like that she looks like she could have a little bit of armor under there she looks ready for for battle you know and then I like putting her with uh, let me get the Baroness out of here. She hurts my feelings. Um, I like putting her with, you know, the Resolute version of Flint because it just looks better. I do have the 50th Flint, but my 50th Flint is wearing the uh, Urban camo, so he doesn't necessarily look, you know, like he. the two of them would be working together in the same areas. But this one, with his greens and his grays and whatnot, and and tans and browns, he looks like he could actually be working in the same missions that she's working on, you know? So, um, and I'm not a big stickler for that, you know? It doesn't really matter, so I'm just saying. But uh, overall, I'm happy with Lady J. If I didn't have another Baroness, you know, I would be really unhappy with this Baroness figure right here, but what I think I'm going to do is or what I can do is alternate you know uh, heads every now and then you know I could take the head off of this Baroness and put it on that Baroness just to get a more authentic look you know even though it's kinda lame that you know this Baroness has brown hair instead of black but whatever but uh yeah overall it's just it's kind of a lazy effort it's like half lazy and half cool you know because they gave us something from the concept case and that makes me happy so um i don't know i really don't know what to say about this you know when it comes to the baroness it's weird because she is overall a really cool figure the paint on the body is not so bad because it's only like two three colors gold red and silver on a black body and i think maybe the uh, gloss on her gloves and her boots but you know it's real simple but then you know you move over to the fact that her head is just so poorly done I mean with all that paint for the skin tone globbed on it's just like ugh, really and I don't know it, it's bothersome it's really bothersome because it shouldn't be that difficult to make something they've made 50 billion times over they could have even resold the exact Baroness from the five pack, which this looks really close, or even the San Diego Comic Con one that came with Ravage, 
and no one would have really complained because, you know, it's barrenness and that's the point, you know? So it's strange that they went this route where they retool a different face or they repaint the face and, you know, we've got sirens, sorry. But, you know, they, they retool the face and everything, but then they didn't think about things to make this a unique release, you know? No peg holes so that we could use the guns they gave us, even though they did come from a different figure. I mean, what's that about? No specific weapons to this release that are unique to this particular release of the Baroness. None of that. Nothing to add to her character. No extra piece that was put in that we didn't get from other you know, releases, you know, kind of like what the Masters of the Universe classics do sometimes. So that just sucks, sucks, you know. And then, you know, there's Lady J. Lady J is a mixed bag, but it's mostly positive, with the exception of just a shitload of random accessories minus her spear gun. And, you know, probably the M4 or the Scar, it's kind of like, why did you just package her with a whole bunch of random shit when you could have actually given her stuff that is relevant to her character more so than just a random shit, a random, you know, package full of shit that, you know, anybody could use. That's not cool. Um, I have to say that since I was waiting for this pack more, this particular Lady J, her her uh, face and everything, her sculpt, uh, the, I don't know, the little details that they added, just like with, the, with Flint, how they beefed up his, uh, I don't know what you would call that, his belt of uh, ammunition and whatnot his uh, harness and the same for her it just looks cooler in the baggier pants and you know her face it looks more like uh she looks tomboyish but really feminine i just wish the paint job was better you know what i mean like the paint job it's too much paint globbed onto their faces her and the baroness <sighs> inaccurate paint when it comes to her eyes i mean that shit just looks weird and hair was a sloppily done you can see more parts you know needing paint right there but once you give her the uh loadout from the classic lady j then you have you know a uh, a winner on your hands because you see how she starts to come alive and have more character she stands out now as a character as opposed to just another soldier with a gun that any of the other soldiers may have now she has a very specific skill set that's it's visually obvious, you know what I'm saying? Um, the lower legs being, you know, reused from the uh, from the Steel Brigade, that's awesome. And from all the other releases, it's awesome because it just looks more modernized, you know what I mean? She's got knee pads now that are built into the pants. So she just looks a little bit more updated, I guess. And then putting her in action is just a whole nother story. She's super awesome looking in action. Everything looks good. Her... Uh, uh, especially when she has, you know, the right weaponry. I gave her the pistols from the Black Widow from the Avengers, uh, you know, three and three quarter inch series. And it seemed to work just fine, you know. Um, it looks more like her speed, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm surprised she didn't have any holsters or anything. But she looks really cool right alongside Flint. Um, I don't really have any complaints, you know. I, uh... She's, she's nice and easy to pose. She, she has the classic uh, ankles and not the uh, stupid ankle rockers that I can't stand because they just don't look natural. Um, if you uh, take the time to work that, uh, you know, her, her uh, backpack of, uh, or her pack of spears up over her legs, up to her waist, then it's pretty cool. It actually sits there really well. It's really tight because the uh, her web gear, that's what I was looking for, the word I was looking for earlier. Her web gear is kind of bulky, but because she's a smaller character, that bulkiness just allows for extra straps or anything else you want to put on her belts and all that shit to stand up or, I'm sorry, stay up properly with no problem. So, you know, you have a winner. Um, and, you know, she's, like I said, it's easy to pose her. She's got classic G.I. Joe posability. I hate the fact, though, that her ankle, uh, I don't know if you guys missed that, but, you know, it seems like once you start working around her foot, the, um, you can see the peg. But, and you know, long story short, though, she's a winner. She looks good with Flint. She looks good with the rest of your team. Um, she fits in with your your 
you know, Resolute, your 30th anniversary shit, um, your uh, Pursuit of Cobra stuff. I mean, she just looks good. It's a nice update to one of my favorite characters. And, you know, like I said, I've been waiting for it for a long time. So I think there was a bit of, you know, I would work with it if she really, really sucked. You know, and I saw some reviews where people got even worse versions than mine, where like her eyes were both turning in opposite directions and shit, and it really looked bad. So, you know, it could it could always be worse. So um, I'm glad in this case, mine looks the part and she looks good with the team, the team. And you know me, I always tweak my, my Joes just a little bit. I don't go crazy with like fucking, you know, uh, an ink wash fucking bath. I don't need to do all that shit or a, or a paint wash bath. I just do, you know, light customizing. But she looks good. She looks the part. She doesn't look out of place. You can tell each of them come from a different branch of the military or various militaries of the world. And that's all I'm looking for with my Joes, you know? I want them to look specialized. And then when they come together, you're like, damn, that's a serious little force you got right there. So if you do happen to come across this set... Lady J is the winner. She's the one uh, worth, in my opinion, she's the one worth picking up. Unless you feel like stripping and repainting the Baroness. And I don't have the patience to do those glasses. So it's all up to you. I may go back and re redo her lips, though, because I can easily do that because I have a paint marker that's thin enough just for that. Um, but, you know, sculpt-wise, she's on point. It's the paint that kind of sucks. And there's not that much paint, which is what makes it worse. But like I said, once you get her in action, it's a wrap. She looks amazing, especially alongside Flint. Then you're like, okay, finally, I have a Lady J, another, a modern Lady J, you know, because the uh, 25th anniversary one did it for a long time. And, you know, it's about time for an update. So anyway, this has been my long, quick review of uh, the 50th anniversary pack um i am strident that's my story and i'm sticking to it i'm happy with one of these figures the other one is kind of like meh um it's probably worth picking up if you're a big fan on to the next one